statewide APB out on it. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's across the Rubicon, and we have to be on the other side. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Can you drive to this one? Bye. Where are we headed? Look at the sky, Cole. No screwing around. We need to be in the car when the call goes out over KGPL. of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion. But I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with it. Worlds turn upside down. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. ever done this before. You get better with practice. That maybe goes for me too, son. Should have played it a little more somber. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. You came across as, uh, very resolute. We have oh.
Looks like all that's left. Try the launch attack. Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. Tomoko Akamado, Japanese name. Thank you. 
It's an address. 133 North Vermont Avenue. here. Any idea what this is? Very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? Try putting it back together. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. This is a busy street, okay? Phelps, I thought you were under suspension. I got nothing to say to a bum like you. Go to down, detective. 
grass is up to you with that guy. Out of the way, boy. I need to compose myself. You think this suit looks appropriate? Oh, who cares what you think? Get on with the investigation. enough air time to speak to both of you, kid. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. And it looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. 
Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. Somebody turned the place over. You better watch your step. James Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. This is Biggs. Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. behind the wheel. LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Number one, uh, J2620 code. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. 
sir. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps Bay, 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for an Oscar Hanksman. Thanks, man. You can drive. Looks like we have a match. Interesting thing, this Akamoto. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight.
Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it. 32 years of work up in smoke. Can you tell us what happened? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test uh, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tamako Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies, but the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it is legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a, was a trained chemist, and his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks. God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. <laughs> we'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. Phelps Badge 1247, messages please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nick's that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part. Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. You know the way. You can drive. You think McClellan went up in smoke? Or is he still alive?
So you could ask the same question about Tamako Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working. Project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, Detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs, you're not still with the LAPD. Right so, Biggs. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? Organ the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belonged to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hang. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuckpads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Pearl and Mapes would seem. Mapes would... Follow me. Good day, miss. Fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the spruce. Girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking man. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Do you know Tomoko Akamoto? Never heard of the boy. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. But we know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How you gonna prove any of that? We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside? And her.
Marie the Body McDonald. Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Cullen's process was going to replace all this. Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. What is the oily covering on the metal? We coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization.
right. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, 0 minutes west. Six degrees west, 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Seventy six degrees west, 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Seventy six degrees west. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. I'm busy now. Can I ignore you some other time? You're behind the wheel. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting on Nicholson. Looks that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. Lit up middlemen and stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like me. Messages for me, Hopkins. Not many you'd want to hear. Newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out mostly. And nothing else. Pinker wants you in tech services. Maybe you'll be more popular downstairs. Gadget whiz guy putting recording devices in place for them. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Advice? Come on, Cole. Ray's a busy guy. And he's waiting on us with this report. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. I mean, you don't see that every day. I want to make it. 
Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Very funny. I think you're right, right? We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. Watcher and match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex dirty cop, business fixer. found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. the street number behind him. Are you kidding? With my eyesight? Help me with a little experiment. Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. I was door knocking all morning, but I got a mate on the car in the hand. Corner bed, gonna be at least a week to get it.
okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumping from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We use linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, and they were using a hundred gallon vat. I was door knocking all morning, but I got a make on the bar. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes, and Akamato copying the details for Lockheed. Where does that leave Nicholson? With a great big hole. Can you drive to this one? Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up. Strom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Look, 
by the stove. Shoot the gas line, Cole. We're out of here. Security men first. 
I hope you're ready for a fight, Cole. Tires.
explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Babes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Babes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps, but between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. 